Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a catfishing rig that we came up with a few weeks ago by accident. And I think it pretty well saved our Lake Mendota fishing trip. So stick around. Alright guys, a couple weeks ago my wife and I made a trip up to Lake Mendota. It's a small lake in southern Wisconsin that's known for having extremely big channel catfish. We went up there with a group of other YouTubers and catfishermen and we were targeting channel catfish in the pre-spawn stage. Now these fish were up in extremely shallow water and the shallow water that we were fishing in was thick, thick, thick with aquatic vegetation. Now I target pre-spawn channel catfish here at home, Rind Lake, Crab Orchard Lake, usually with a Carolina rig, a shorter leader, and to catch fish. Guys, whatever I was doing up there, it was not working. We spent the first two days of the trip struggling to find a catfish, but by the third day, we ended up hooking up. And when I went back and reviewed everything, I realized that it was one rig that pretty well caught all our fish for us while we were up there. So I wanted to show you what I come up with. I think this rig is going to be good for those of you who fish in really tight vegetation. And uh, hopefully this rig will help you out too. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how it is. All right guys, remember at the beginning of the video when I told you this rig was created by accident? Well, here's how I accidentally created the rig that put catfish in the boat for us at Lake Mendota. What you're looking at is my usual setup for dragging baits. And that's an easy clip to my main line, a double barreled three-way swivel, and what I will usually do is attach my dragging weight to the bottom end of this swivel, attach my leader to the other side, on up to my circle hook and peg float. Now, I had a real mess up that third day wanted to get lines back out in the water and really just didn't want to take the time to retie a new Carolina rig. So what I did, I pulled the snap off of a sinker slide, attached it to the three-way swivel, and used a three-ounce coin sinker in place of my dragon weight. Now when I'm anchored up, I usually use a shorter 12 to 18 inch leader for my Carolina rigs. But when I'm dragging, I increase that leader length to somewhere between two to three feet. I usually put a peg float or a rattling peg float onto that line just to help keep the bait off the bottom when I'm dragging. What I ended up doing, I pulled the slotted peg float off of this thing, left this with just about a, probably about a 30 inch leader, went up to a snelled circle hook. Now the difference between this and a normal Carolina rig is your main line and sinker always stay in one position when using this rig. The sinker can't slide up all the way up the main line. It can't move around. It also keeps the sinker in position anytime something pulls on this leader. So what happened is we were fishing some really thick vegetation and we pitched this out there. This sinker drop down to the bottom, dragging this down with it, and more than likely left our piece of cut bait somewhere in the middle of all that vegetation. Now it may have found its way closer to the bottom, but it probably didn't find its way all the way to the bottom there. That longer leader kept that bait just a little bit further up off the ground, and with the sinker not moving around, for whatever reason, the fish preferred this rig to our other more traditional Carolina rigs. Hi right, guys, like I said, I don't know what it was that did it. May have been the longer leader, may have been the fixed sinker, maybe the combination of the both of them. But this rig right here, I am convinced, saved our Lake Mendota fishing trip and helped us put catfish in the boat. So for those of you who are fishing for pre-spawn catfish in heavily vegetated areas, you might want to give this rig a shot 
if you're having trouble getting fish to bite. So, guys, just one more tool to have in your toolbox. Never hurts to know a different rig, and it also proves it never hurts to either experiment or be too lazy to cut and retie. Guys, that's all I've got for this week. I hope this video has helped you out. If you enjoyed this one, please take a moment, hit, give it that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, take a moment, hit that subscribe and the bell. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video or go live. Guys, if you have something you'd like to see me cover on Short Tip Saturday, please leave it down below in the comments. I'll do my best to get it answered for you. Anybody get to see your question answered in an upcoming video. Guys, that's all I've got. Take care, and until next time, We'll catch you out on the water.